if you pray and believe, then you have, or you, 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 pray, you believe that you receive, put it that way. Now, and you shall have. So there's sometimes a time gap, sometimes small time gap, sometimes bigger, from the time that you believe that you receive to the time that you actually have in the physical realm that you can see it. Does that make sense? Everybody with me so far? Okay, now, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to show you how these two line up. Now, here's the question then. When you pray, according to Mark eleven twenty three, 23, then, and you believe that you received, what do you do after that? In other words, do I go to God every day? Let's say I'm uh, dealing with sickness, okay? Uh, and I say, okay, now, um, Father, you said that by his stripes I'm healed. So I thank you, I believe, and I receive right now my healing. And I say, thank you, uh, because now I'm healed. Now, tomorrow, or even later that day, when I check my body, and nothing's changed that I can see or feel inside, how do I, what do I say now? Do I do Mark eleven twenty three 23 again? And say, Father, uh, your word says, by the stripes I'm healed. I believe that, so I believe that I received my healing. Right? Because if you believe you received it the first time, what's different now? Why, why are you saying the same thing again? If, uh, if you're dealing with sickness or disease, how would you pray? What, how, would you, how would you say it? Okay, so according to uh, Mark eleven twenty three, 23, we have to believe that we receive. So, Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus right now. According to your word, you said that uh, by his stripes I'm healed. So I believe your word, so therefore I accept that, and that is let your word be true according to me. You know, according, let, let it be unto me according to your word, and let it be true to me in, in reality, in manifestation. So I believe right now, at this point in time, I receive my healing that you have given. Right? You've already given it. you blessed me with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. I believe I receive it. It's mine. Thank you. From this moment forward, according to your word, I believe I was healed by his stripes. You got that? Amen. Now, you can say that without lying because you didn't say that I believe that I feel different. Right? You're saying, I believe, according to your word, that by his stripes, I was healed. You see that? I'm not lying. I'm saying I agree with his word. Right? I don't know why I keep pointing that way. Probably because it's... <laughs> Oh, so there somewhere. Anyway, I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> probably because I'm left-handed. That's probably it. Okay. And my right hand's busy. So probably I can't point that way. Anyway, okay. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Now, so you say that. Now, this, is, this point in time, done. There. Now, wake up in the morning. Oh, whatever it is, still there. Okay. Well, guess what? By his stripes, I was healed. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Isn't that right? The Bible does not say he's going to heal you. The Bible says he has. He has released healing, right? But we still have to receive it or enforce it. For yourself, you have to receive it. If we're ministering to somebody else, we have to enforce it. Does that make sense? Amen. All right, now, so what do you do? <clears throat> Mark eleven twenty three. 23, you believe and you receive. You, you stand there, and then from then on, right? Now it's by his stripes you were healed. So that's what we're going to keep saying. So if you come and say, well, but this is different, or, or this is, uh, you know, I'm still sick nothing's changed, then I can't agree with that. Why? Because I can't pray and nothing happened. Because he said, if I pray in the name of Jesus, if I'm believing, something happens. Amen. Now, how much happens? We're not talking about what is happening on the outside. We're talking about what's happening in the spirit because God is the father of spirits and that's where he works first. So the life is released out of your spirit and then into your flesh. Amen. So, and if, since you can't see in your spirit, you can't even feel in your spirit, then we have to believe in the spirit life was released for you to be healed. Now, and that life will be released into your flesh, and that's when you first start seeing or feeling. Does that make sense? Okay, now, let's read the next real quick. <clears throat> so, first off, what, what should you be saying? Because he says very clearly that you believe that you receive. So whenever you receive something, right, then what does it tell us? Well, Philippians 4, verse 6 says... Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Be careful for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. Don't be worried about anything, is what he's saying. Okay? Now, he says, don't worry about it. Here's what you do instead. But in everything, by prayer and supplication. Notice prayer, supplication. Two different things. Okay? Prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. What does that mean? That means that with thanksgiving means since it's connected to the prayer and supplication, then once you have done Mark eleven twenty three, 23, then the next thing to do is to start thanking him for the fact that 
by his stripes you were healed, and you have received, because you believe that you receive your healing. Does that make sense? Are you with me so far? Okay. So that's a process. You find out what the word says, you believe it, you receive it, and then what? You give thanks for it. Right? Okay. 